In a world where economic power often translates to geopolitical influence, there's a group of nations that's been steadily gaining ground. They're known as the BRICS. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Together, these nations control 26.7% of the world's surface area and house 41.5% of the global population. Their combined GDP stands at a staggering $25 trillion, making them a larger economic force than the USA or the EU. But what does this alliance mean for the global economy? And should the rest of the world be concerned? The group of emerging economies can evolve as an engine of global growth. In this video, we'll delve into the economic power of the BRICS, their internal dynamics, the potential threats they pose, and what their rise means for the future of global cooperation. Stay tuned. Welcome to our deep dive into the BRICS Alliance. Let's get started. Let's start by understanding what BRICS is. BRICS is an acronym for an alliance of five major emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These nations are geographically diverse, spanning four continents, but they share significant influence on regional and global affairs. Together, these nations are home to nearly three billion people, which is almost half of the world's total population. This demographic weight alone makes them a significant global force. Economically, they are a formidable bloc. Their combined GDP now contributes to 31.5% of global GDP, surpassing the G7 share, which has fallen to 30%. This is a significant shift in the global economic landscape, indicating the rising influence of these emerging economies. The term BRIC was first coined in 2001 by economist Jim O'Neill to represent the four emerging markets of Brazil, Russia, India, and China. South Africa was invited to join the group in 2010 and the acronym was updated to BRICS. Since then, the BRICS countries have held annual summits to discuss their approach to global economic issues, and they've steadily increased their cooperation on various fronts. They've launched initiatives like the New Development Bank, aimed at funding infrastructure projects in developing countries, and they've been vocal about reforming global financial institutions. Now the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have announced plans to develop a new currency. Over the years, the BRICS countries have become increasingly influential in global affairs, from climate change negotiations to discussions on global trade rules. The BRICS alliance represents a shift in global economic power. As these countries continue to grow and collaborate, they're reshaping the world's economic landscape. But what does this mean for the rest of the world? Let's delve deeper. While BRICS presents a united front to the world, the internal dynamics within the group are complex and fascinating. For instance, despite being part of the same alliance, India and China have had border disputes, and Russia and China have a history of political tensions. These internal conflicts add a layer of complexity to the group's dynamics. Then there's the issue of China's dominance. China's economy is so large that it accounts for more output than all of the other countries in the group combined, and then some. China's rapid economic growth and increasing global influence have made it a key player not just within BRICS, but on the world stage. But what about the other BRICS countries? Well, their economic performance has been a mixed bag. While India has seen robust growth, Brazil and Russia have faced economic challenges, and South Africa's economy has been relatively stagnant. Brazil has been grappling with political instability and economic recession. Russia's economy has been hit by sanctions and a drop in oil prices and South Africa has struggled with high unemployment and slow growth. Despite these challenges, the BRICS countries remain a formidable economic force. Their potential for growth and their collective influence cannot be underestimated. Despite these challenges and internal conflicts, the BRICS countries remain a formidable economic force. Their potential for growth and their collective influence cannot be underestimated. There have also been significant collaborations among the BRICS countries, such as joint military exercises, and cultural exchange programs, which have helped to strengthen their alliance. One of the most significant initiatives by the BRICS Alliance is the establishment of the New Development Bank, often referred to as the BRICS Bank. Headquartered in Shanghai, China, the New Development Bank was established in 2014, 
with an initial authorized capital of $100 billion. The bank's role is somewhat similar to that of the International Monetary Fund. It's designed to mobilize resources for infrastructure and sustainable development projects in BRICS and other emerging economies. Since its inception, the bank has approved dozens of projects, ranging from renewable energy initiatives to transportation infrastructure, with a total investment of over $20 billion. The bank's investments have been growing steadily, reflecting its commitment to supporting economic development in its member countries and beyond. The leaders of the BRICS countries have praised the bank's role in providing financial resources for development projects, particularly at a time when many developing countries are struggling with economic challenges. Through its investments, the New Development Bank is playing a key role in shaping the economic future of the BRICS countries and other emerging economies. As the BRICS alliance grows in economic power, it's worth asking, does this pose a threat to the global economy? Some analysts have expressed concern that the BRICS countries with their growing economic clout could disrupt the current global economic order, which has been largely dominated by Western countries. One of the key strategies of the BRICS alliance is to increase trade among its member countries. This could potentially shift global trade patterns and challenge the dominance of traditional economic powers. There's also been talk of introducing a common currency among the BRICS countries. The BRICS nations are considering creating their currency. De-dollarization. 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 While this is still a long way off, it's a sign of the group's ambition to become more self-reliant and less dependent on the U.S. dollar. The political relationships between the BRICS countries and the rest of the world are complex and often fraught with tension. What will America do to contain China? Will it go to war with China over Taiwan? There have been fresh cyber attacks against the Indian army. This adds another layer of uncertainty to the potential impact of the BRICS alliance on the global economy. Despite these challenges, the BRICS countries have shown that they are not afraid to assert their interests on the global stage. Their growing influence is a sign of the shifting dynamics in the global economy. The BRICS countries have also been pushing for greater representation in global institutions like the IMF and the World Bank, challenging the traditional dominance of Western countries in these institutions. As we continue to watch the rise of the BRICS, one thing is clear. The future of the global economy is likely to be very different from its past. The rise of the BRICS alliance raises important questions about the future of global cooperation. Some analysts worry that the formation of groups like BRICS could lead to a fracturing of global cooperation as countries align themselves with specific blocs based on their economic and political interests. This could potentially impact global economic growth. If countries become more insular and focus on trading within their own blocs, this could disrupt global trade patterns and slow down economic growth. There's also the question of what happens if the BRICS countries become more self-sufficient. This could reduce their dependence on Western economies and potentially shift the balance of economic power. The leaders of the BRICS countries have expressed a desire to increase their economic independence and resilience. They see their alliance as a way to achieve this goal and to shape the global economic order in a way that reflects their interests. While this could lead to challenges in the short term, it could also lead to a more balanced and diverse global economy in the long term. As the BRICS countries continue to grow and evolve, they are likely to play an increasingly important role in shaping the future of global cooperation. Now, let's see how the BRICS countries stack up on the Economics Explained National Leaderboard. Based on factors such as size, GDP per capita, stability and confidence growth in industry, the BRICS countries have an average score of 7.6 out of 10. This score reflects the significant economic power of the BRICS countries. Their large size and population, combined with their economic growth and diverse industries, contribute to their high score. However, the score also takes into account the challenges faced by the BRICS countries, such as economic instability and lower GDP per capita, compared to more developed economies. Compared to other countries and groups of countries, the BRICS score is quite competitive, reflecting their growing influence in the global economy. This ranking is a testament to the potential of the BRICS countries. Despite their challenges, they have managed to become a significant force in the global economy. As they continue to grow and evolve, the BRICS countries are likely to climb even higher on the leaderboard. 
Now let's take a closer look at each of the BRICS countries and their unique strengths and challenges. Starting with Brazil, it's the largest economy in South America, known for its agricultural, mining, manufacturing, and service sectors. Brazil is a leading exporter of soybeans, coffee, and orange juice. However, it has been grappling with issues of political instability and economic recession, with high levels of income inequality and unemployment. Russia, rich in natural resources, is a major player in the global oil and gas industry. It's the world's largest exporter of natural gas and the second largest exporter of oil. But it faces economic challenges due to geopolitical tensions, reliance on commodity exports, and issues related to economic diversification and corruption. India, with its vast population, has a rapidly growing economy. It's a global hub for IT services and software outsourcing. The country also has a significant manufacturing sector, producing textiles, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, steel, and more. However, it struggles with infrastructure development, regulatory hurdles, and social issues like poverty, and lack of access to quality education and healthcare. China, the world's second largest economy, is a global manufacturing powerhouse, producing everything from electronics to automobiles to clothing. It's transitioning to a more consumer-driven economy, but faces challenges related to debt, an aging population, environmental issues, and the need for further economic reforms. Finally, South Africa, the powerhouse of Africa, has a diverse economy with a strong services sector, mining industry, and manufacturing sector that produces automobiles, chemicals, and textiles. However, it struggles with high unemployment, social inequality, and issues related to public health and education. Understanding these individual strengths and challenges is key to understanding the dynamics within the BRICS alliance. Each country brings unique assets to the table, but they also face their own set of hurdles on the path to economic growth and stability. As we've seen, the BRICS countries are a diverse group with a wide range of economic strengths and challenges. Their alliance represents a significant shift in global economic power, but it also presents a complex set of dynamics that will shape their collective future. As they navigate these dynamics, the BRICS countries will play a key role in shaping the future of the global economy. As we wrap up our deep dive into the BRICS Alliance, let's recap the key points we've covered. We've explored what the BRICS Alliance is, its internal dynamics, and China's dominance within the group. We've also looked at the role of the New Development Bank and the potential threat posed by the BRICS Alliance to the global economy. We've discussed the future of global cooperation in the face of growing insularity and the potential consequences if the BRICS countries become more self-sufficient. And we've seen how the BRICS countries rank on the Economics Explained National Leaderboard. The rise of the BRICS Alliance is reshaping the global economic landscape. As these countries continue to grow and collaborate, they're likely to play an increasingly important role in the world economy. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you think the BRICS Alliance is a threat or an opportunity for the global economy? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of economics. Thanks for watching.